Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more medieval campaign on Total War Attila. Here today, we're going to be starting episode 8 of my Teutonic Order series. If you guys still are enjoying it and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it, of course. Welcome back to the series. In today's episode, we're going to try and take some territory in the British Isles and expand our territory in Anatolia. If you haven't gone to see in the last episode, highly recommend you do. I basically talk about the campaign generally that it's a hard mod. I feel like my hands are very much tied in the east, facing an immortal Mongol horde. My economy is very poor and uh, they keep on splashing upon my eastern wall of Vilna, Kiev and Galich like uh, water upon rock. We are currently four stacks tied up here, which makes foreign intervention difficult and expansion. And I'm going to try and do my best. If I can't seem to sort of take and hold some of these territories, I might just sort of have to end the series here, because really, the economy... It, look, look, right. This mod is still in very early stages of development, and it's not, like, it's not quite balanced over here in the east. You, you're not really meant to hold this territory, really. The horse lords are meant to burn and pillage through it, but we are still holding now. We just can't push on. But to be fair, if you have a look at our... Uh, where is it? Diplomatic standing... Like, we have won the game. We've united a Christendom here. Only really, like, the like, yeah, we, we, live, we live good here. You know what I mean? Right, victory conditions-wise, I think we're actually quite close. Minor victory is definitely complete. We just need to recruit 13 to get it over and done with. To get a military victory, we have to sack and siege. We have to take uh, Sardinia and Northern Africa. But we're quite close to nearly hitting that. So we've nearly got the minor victory straight up there. Okay, so let me recap where my armies were. So we took uh, we took out the Normans in the last episode. That's what happened. And I pushed my full stack over to London. Right, if you guys can remember, there was a Spanish intervention here in Portuguese. I've been waiting to sort of push against the United Kingdom with the AI, sorry, not the United Kingdom, we'll push into the British British Isles against Ireland and Scotland, who have a coalition. Um, Ireland itself has fallen to the crown of Aragon, but the Cas uh, was Castilla, yeah, it was. The Spanish sent like four full stacks, they got smashed by the Scottish and Irish here. Now, I don't know how England is able to like get this amount of forces it's quite bullshit if you guys can remember the french came over and liberated the the uh the kingdom of england and with one territory they can spawn one two three four five six stacks nearly like that's insane that's more than me and i own half of the bloody east and they're only netting 1332 per turn and i couldn't get a military alliance with them so i couldn't drag them into the war but now if I declare war upon the Irish, it's going to be a full-scale war. The thing is, right, I don't have the military power to take out the United Kingdom. The British Isles, sorry. <laughs> I need help. And I think I should have plenty now. Once I declare war, the English are going to be involved. The French have three full stacks down here. The French have another army near Nottingham. The Portuguese have ships off the coast. Uh, Aragon has Dublin. Scotland does obviously have Wales, and there are more men coming from the east here, Spanish from Castilla, Crown of Aragon as well. So I will be declaring war upon the Lordship of Ireland. They currently occupy central England, and then we'll go into Scotland, of course. Pushing down to Anatolia, here is our other front. But if this, not, this isn't successful, we'll probably end the series here and move on to another probably European-centric faction, because I'll probably pick one of the one of the harder two of the game. So we took Necomedia in the last episode. We're still trying to get a balance up here. We have taken Ankara as well. That did... Uh, it's changed hands. It went to sort of the eastern factions we're at war with. So we might be able to take the entire, entire territory of Bithynia, which will be good. Diplomatic standing is still relatively the same, as you can see by our diplomatic status. 
we basically have most of Central Euro European Christendom. We're going to be pushing into the British Isles, while the East is still very much under enemy control. So we currently have Genseric, my bastard brother here. Belagrod did fall. It changes hands from time to time. Okay, so we currently have Edward, who is my nephew, who is married to a Holy Roman Empire princess. We currently have Gunderic here, the faction leader. And we've got Leofred Wine, randomly generated general. I thought I might sort of try and combat the hordes with a purely cavalry style army. And if we do need another army, I can always push you up. I sent Edward down to Galich just as Belagrod was, uh, was taken. And the Hungarians have kind of exposed me here a bit. So they're being smashed back. They had a fair few stacks, but they're not looking too good whatsoever. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Uh, up in the north, still got a full stack here in Vilna as well. Still putting money into my economy. But something I didn't realize about this, there are a secret Knights of <laughs> the Templar, which we can get as a military unit. And it's one of the best we can get in the game, which I didn't realize this. This is so deceiving. I just didn't know. There's no patch notes or anything, really. So if you look here in the building browser, so if you make a chapel, it gives you minus... 200 maintenance cost, but it allows you to get three public order. That's okay. You can upgrade it again, but 600 for only a little bit of public order and sanitation, it's just not worth it. What I didn't realize is it actually is a unit recruitment, a monastery, which is a bit deceiving. It allows you to unlock the recruitment of Knight Teutonic Order and Knight of the Order as well. These swordsmen cost around about 500 gold, I do believe. The only reason I figured it out is because when I took this settlement in Normandy, it was that those swordsmen were actually able to recruit. So what's the point of having all these like military buildings when you need like churches and stuff like it shouldn't be with a, a core within the building yeah it might unlock the recruitment like tier one but i just didn't know so we will be able to get better quality swordsmen in two more turns so i've been investing into that which costs a massive amount as well a thousand upkeep and to get those swordsmen in will, will cost to flip those guys over as well from normal swordsmen. So we're going to be able to get better quality swordsmen in a moment. Not really much else I can do here now then. We've just taken Ankara. We will have Silk in... Oh, we have it now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben Simsy goodbye okay sorry about that one guys I got interrupted family comes first I hope you understand so what was I banging on about um <laughs> oh yeah anchor and anchor and silk all right that's what I was banging on about down in Anatoly right uh was there anything else I wanted to do before I declare war upon the Irish and the Scottish um Look, you know what? Just palming up here, or panning rather, there's a Mongol army we probably should defeat because, yeah, there's another one over here as well. The thing is with the Mongols, you got to purge them from your lands, or otherwise they, they tend to gain a footholding. So, I don't think I can actually reach it in one turn. No, I can't because of that river. The king is immunable. Well, not the king. Gundrick, the faction leader, is... Yeah, he doesn't take snow attrition. It's good they're right on that river there. Regardless, we'll move up. Together. We'll take a small number of casualties. I'm going to bring this army up from Galich. Yeah, I reckon the Hungarians will be fine in Belograd. 
Uh, we'll push through the, uh, the center here to Kiev rather than push to the south just in case those armies get drawn up. Okay, we've got a little bit more money now. Uh, mercenary wise, we're probably, oh, we actually probably could get some more mercs to spend a little bit of money. To be fair, we might need to repair that once we take territory in the UK. Alright, let's have a look at this army. So we've got Bjorn Wolf. Um, actually, one of my sons has come of age, hasn't he? Where is he? Uh, Oswe. Yeah, Oswe can get his first command here if he wants to. I don't know. This is this guy's already a six-star commander, you know? And if we push straight up, we can push to Nottingham. The Irish... Oh, it's the Irish king, though, isn't it? But we can push to Nottingham. This is a tough decision to make. I can, king the, I can kill the Irish king, or I can march forth to Nottingham. I'm going to go straight up through the guts and push for Nottingham. We're going to declare war. I'm not going to bring Oswe into the fray. Scotland uh, is their ally. Will Scotland stand with the Irish? And they do. We are now at war with Scotland and Ireland. We're having some military intervention in England for the first time, the British Isles. Let's continue on our assault. The second army's now fled. And it's going to be a battle for Nottingham. Push further up once more. Oh, wow. So we can actually do a night attack. Interesting. What are we coming up against? One lot of bill sergeants, Irish. Three units of Irish swordsmen. And a hell of a lot of... Or it looks like Bill Sergeants. Well, this actually has night attacks, so this is massively helpful. We're attacking the Papal States, apparently. <laughs> Ignore that, because that's clearly not true. Let's auto-resolve this first battle here now, then. A clear-cut victory. A Teutonic Knight... Well, night attack, I guess. We're going to take on the 4% replenishment there. And we're going to take our first settlement in the UK. Right, so can we push straight up into Nottingham now? We could swing around, but we're actually not going to be in range, I don't think. Uh, I still want to try and hit the settlement. No, we will be in range. Excellent. So let's wipe out the garrisons outside of the city. And then we can take Nottingham with impunity. Take on the 5% replenishments again. But that just shows you the power of night attack if you can get it up. This is crazy. Right, so let's take Nottingham here now then. Uh, night attack. Oh, we have to siege it. Oh, damn it. I thought we could actually take it straight up. Oh, that sucks. Uh, siege equipment wise, I imagine that's probably the best balance I can see. My problem is if we get attacked by the Scots over here because I reckon they're in range. I could swing further back down, you know? I can't, I've already engaged the siege. I guess we're just sort of going to have to do a quick save, cross our fingers and hope that we will uh, succeed. Okay, we've got a little bit of money to spend here as well. You're coming down here, you already got a full stack. I guess we try and uh, save it. Let's uh, end the turn and continue. We can bring in a new provincial governor, that's fine. We're probably going to need to repair and and... Maybe I should have got some more mercenaries, actually, against the Mongols. But we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like Scotland's been bypassed, which is good. So, I should I should be over in Britannia. I should be panning over to see where their movements are. I just wanted to be back, back down here to watch out for that Mongol horde, which we're closer going to be engaged to. Yep, so we've skipped over all of our enemies by the look of it. Which is fan bloody tastic, if I do say so myself. What are some of the Middle Eastern tribes doing now? Charisma. Oh, there's a full stack pushing up to Galich. That's interesting. We're going to have to swing down and most definitely deal with that. What? Where has that come from? Oh, for fuck's sake, man. How has that hit Pinsk? That's unreal. <sighs> the fucking Mongols, man. I'm, I'm really sick of them. They really spoil and ruin the campaign. Being unable to be destroyed. 
Rebellion, that's fine. I don't know where they came from. Let's get rid of this Rebellion at Krakow, though, however. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They really do need to rebalance this stuff. Because as you can see here, even the uh, Rebellions are nowhere big enough to even take the city. Alright, okay. So, we've got a lot of military interventions happening over here. My food is going through the roof here. Okay, so what's happened here? Oh, wow. So, the Scots have come through. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. What? So, it looks like the British and the French battled it out between the Scots. One pushed all the way to Cornwall, Cornwallis, and another full stack's gone up here. The Portuguese are now... Uh, they're not sieging York. But York is definitely the prize if we don't get Nottingham. We're going to take Nottingham here now then. For ourselves. I reckon what we should do is push for York. Even if we do lose Nottingham. It doesn't bother with me. I'll double check the resources. We're going to occupy Nottingham straight up. And repair where we can. Uh, the food... Oh, we can actually get some proper knights here, which is good. The town is getting a 60, const uh, 60 food. We need to really break that down. Yeah, York is under Irish control. We need to get our food situation back on track. Maybe we should leave that. Maybe just... Oh, uh, no, we're better off breaking it down just a little bit longer. Right, what in God's name is happening here? So the Mongols are being besieged at Chernigov. That full stack that pushed us out has now fled. Okay, I have a full stack of my own here. We're going to push down and take Sinop before the Bavarians do. And we're going to occupy the settlement. We shall re break down and repair where we can. There's no way Anchor is going to fall to that garrison anyway. I don't, that small army anyway, I don't reckon. Okay, is this army battered? Oh, it is quite significantly. Right, um... I'm going to be, I'm going to maintain my stance, and we're going to push back to Galich. This looks awfully phallic here, so Edward's going to double back. We will be getting our food stuff back on track in a couple of turns. I have made the decision to bring some more farms in. It's just because, you know how it is. You bring a cert, you build a certain amount of buildings, and then your food gets absolutely smashed, and we've just lost... Pinsk as well. Does that say does that say it takes five turns to repair? Are you shitting me? Okay, so we need to pick our targets well carefully. Chernigov's being besieged. I don't think we're gonna be able to grab them up here. And we're not gonna be able to hit, get you down here. I guess we just gotta chase you, haven't we? We've really just gotta get them out of my lands. More so than anything. Uh, no, you need to push this way over the river. It's just these rivers as well, really. Get you down. Um, I'm trying to think. That's probably not too bad. If we push out to the bridge here, we probably can hold this quite well. Sit in. No, we can't sit in a fortified stance. That might draw you up here. But for... Oh. Oh, no. But, like, for real, I'm sick of fighting Mongols. They're just... It's just so unfair. They're not properly balanced. They're undefeated. They need to fix these lands here. Okay, so we've taken Nottingham, which is absolutely fantastic. We have our first piece here. My food is just not looking good at the moment. Maybe I need to break down an anchor as well. Like, break it down by one. Because look at that food. 70, yeah. We're going to break anchor down by one. Let's uh, do some accolades with the wild hunters. And let's end the turn and continue once more. Okay, Scotland's come in, and they've defeated a stack in York. The French are now pushing into Wales. The Irish full stack is still hanging out here. York has now been taken and is under Portuguese occupation. It does look like the Spaniards between the seas of Wales and Ireland have been attacked, and the, Scot the Irish have attacked me now, and we're going to be able to kill the Irish king. 
for the Teutonic Order. Excellent stuff, holding up in our stronghold of Nottingham. We're going to take our 10% warriors here. So will we be able to take Wales? That's what I'm hoping for. But who would have thought that Portuguese, the Portuguese took York. That's crazy. Edinburgh is still a settlement to take, and same with Wales. If we can get Wales, I'd be really happy. Okay, so we have been attacked here at Galich, which is unfortunate. Probably go with an aggressive stance to try and kill as many of them as possible. We will be able to retake Galich if it does fall. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't get like full on destroyed. It looks like it's just only been sacked, which isn't too bad. But the thing is, right, you try to expand, you try to do something interesting and fun instead of holding the eastern wall here and throwing back Mongols and you, you do something fun like pushing into Anatolia and in the UK and we're, we're really in a sticky situation here now. We're not on death's door, of course, but it uh, would be a lot easier if we had those two full stacks. Okay, decisive victory. Let's take on the replenishments. I have no interest to play against Mongols now. They pissed me off more than anything with their immortality. You saw in the last episode, man, oh man, the amount of times we smashed them. Okay, my food stuff is now back on track. How strong is this Scottish army is what I want to know, because I want Wales. If I can take Wales, that'd be fantastic. Knotting them there needs to be re-addressed. It's pretty funny that the Portuguese have York. Okay, we're going to get rid of this army here, of the Easterners, and we're going to try and repair my territory as best I can. We'll charge them out here with Prince Edward, Knight Attack as well, and let's uh, finish them off. But they just have no self-preservation, like why would they push up there, or why would they... Uh, let's take a like, why would they not take it for themselves? There's just something about the self-destructive nature, which is a little bit off-turning for Total War Attila. Okay, so let's push back. Um, yeah, if we push back, we'll be fine. Okay, so... Wow, what in the fuck? How have the Hungarians not taken this? Um, I think I might need to reset my co-war target. I need to put it over here in the east, don't I? I need them to take that. Okay, so, there's an army here and an army here. I feel like the Dane here, Helgi, is more than competent to run down the last of these Mongols here. And we're going to be killing another faction leader, of course. Excellent. We're going to have to double back to Kiev now as well. Let's take on the replenishment. And let's push back to the border here. Push back to Vilna. Okay, we actually can't get back to here. So what's the furthest possible point we can arrive? There. The horse lords can cross the river. But they're going to be very close. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get any mercenary recruits. Oh, I am going to get one. I'll take that. Because we're going to need it most definitely over in here. There's another full stack here right in the heartland of Krakow and Pinsk. Nothing really I can do about it until my armies take this out in Kiev. There's no way the Mongols want peace after another time of me killing their leaders. Okay, how's it going down here as well? Uh, oh, we're actually being besieged at Ankara. So let's quickly get rid of that. It just leaves Sinope. vulnerable. To be fair, holding up an anchor is probably a, a safer option. Let's run down the last of them here now. I will try to get a battle if I'm interested, but I'm not particularly interested in fighting eastern men or Mongols, unless I'm on the offensive. And I'd rather play a battle in Britannia, you know? But even those battles haven't been overly too interesting just yet. Right, I need to fix up my economy and have a read through all these buildings, maybe potentially get rid of some of them. Okay, let's see how we go here now. We'll try and hold our territory here in Bithynia, in Ankara, Sinope, Nicomedia, and Ankara. I forgot about my Hungarian territory. Uh, Belograd's probably going to fall. We need to deal with this, Hung with this uh, Mongol army as well. We'll see 
if these guys siege Kiev. I'm kind of hoping they don't. So Chernigov did get sieged, but maybe he just got sacked. That, movie's arm, that army's moving back to Vilna, and we've also got this military intervention going on here. Will the Scots actually try and charge me at Nottingham? That's what I want to know. I'm going to destroy some buildings here and there as well. Uh, just... Oh, maybe I should attack, actually. I've got movement, haven't I? This might be the battle, then. Because everything's fine in the east. Look, the thing is, right, I need to... I want to push for to Wales. So if I can hit this, this might give me enough movement points to hit that. Because I can't get there now, but if, if I try and run them down, it might work. So if I hit this... They've now fled. Has that given me more movement points? Because sometimes it, it does. Ah, okay, we can actually hit Wales straight on here. Oh, fuck. Will Nottingham fall? No, it's a wall, isn't it? Because even if they do attack, I'm still going to be able to hold Nottingham. Because I had to siege it, didn't I? It's a castle. And I didn't break it down, did I? Not that I can think of. So, should I hit this Scottish army here? Get rid of it. And then push this, and then they won't—they probably won't be able to hit that. I'm just hoping will I get enough movement points. I reckon I will. I'll hit this army here, because that should be able to flee as well. Oh, okay. So, is this a night attack? No. Okay, okay. Well, I think this will be the battle of today's episode. <sighs> okay, it's going to be a hell of a fight. I'll quickly chuck a quick save, and we'll try push into Wales. So, we have a battle in Wales. The Teutonic Knights and the French force with Red Bad and Theobald will be attacking the Scottish here today. We're bringing two lots of Teutonic pikemen, eight units of, sorry, ten units of swordsmen, two units of Teutonic archers, one crossbowman, and our cavalry. The French are bringing some spearmen and cavalry as well, and a unit of catapults. Their second army is the real heavy hitter. They've got their own French sergeants, along with crossbowmen and cavalry. We're coming up against a four-star general and a pretty formidable Scottish force, mostly made up of Scottish axemen, Scottish skirmishers. They have their own Scottish sergeants as well. The second army is actually quite good as well. A lot of javelins, a lot of cavalry raiders and commander units. They even have some Scottish longbowmen. So we're going to have to watch out for them. We could go with a night attack, but it's actually not in our favor. Let's fight this one on the field of battle. Who would have thought that at the start of the campaign, the Teutonic Knights would be fighting against the Scots in Wales? The Battle of Sigontum, 1248. That can't be right, okay. <laughs> but it's not the first time that the Teutonic Order has been fighting with the French. We had that in the last episode, so they feel like we've had a common accord. So what's the justification going into the British Isles? Are the Irish and, and Sc Scottish pagans, you could say? Maybe they're pagans. I don't particularly know. They, don't, they basically just weren't interested in the Central European, European Mainland Alliance, the uniting of Spain, France, Central Europe, and uh, the Eastern Baltic and Scandinavian, I guess. Okay, guys, well, welcome to the battle map. Typical English weather conditions, of course. It is pissing down with rain. Well, British, I guess we're in Wales. But the beauty about taking the territory in the British Isles is they're going to be very well defended. So once we are successful, the Spanish, the Portuguese, the French, the English, and I, in taking out this Irish and successful Scottish uprising... We're going to be able to basically leave the island um, just basically uh, by itself. Like, we're not going to need a full stack to sort of house it. So, the Scots have picked a rather woodland area. If we could get to this clearing, that'd be good. So, where are my reinforcements coming from exactly? So, they're coming right behind me, and they're also coming from my left-hand flank. I am tempted just to sit back and relax and allow the French to take the bulk of the casualties and the men, to be perfectly frank. Like, I'm nearly t quite tempted just to hold all the way back here. Hold back in the clearing. So if they do engage us, 
uh, it will be in proper hand-to-hand -hand combat because some of you may or may not know in Total War if you do fight in the forest it does diminish combat effectiveness so if you've got decent spear uh, sorry decent swords unit for example like the Romans have um, some of the best swordsmen in the game you're more than like you're more than better off fighting in this for example than fighting in the depths of this because combat is uh, diminished so we'll put my pikes on the flanks yeah I'm, I'm pretty much just sort of tempted just to chill for this fight um, if things look like they're getting a little bit hairy and I need to push up I will if I need to but I'm not in overly a rush Bjorn Wolf knows how to save Teutonic lives right so we have our own crossbowmen here I don't know how we're, well my cavalry is going to do in this as they do have a hell of a lot of skirmishes so even my sort of light flanks might not be able to do too much so this will be this flank here uh, yeah we'll, put, we'll pop you on this side here alright I'm more than happy with that so here is the Teutonic front line of course and then we're gonna have the French slowly but surely trickle in we have to get rid of these Scottish Christians they are not true Christians Christ is dead in their hearts okay I wonder if we can see some of the Scottish units here now where were they oh we can't see them <laughs> I was gonna say oh let's see them but no we can't see them because we've pulled too far back now however we can roughly see where they're gonna be deploying as they well we can see their deployables they've made a massive sort of line on the left side of the battlefield which is interesting so we know to avoid them they seem to have man traps in the center wow okay so they've really split the battlefield in half which is interesting okay so the French reinforcements are now coming in on my left hand side and my uh, just behind here so here come the French parlez-vous français hey parlez-vous français <laughs> <laughs> so they're coming in it's crazy to think that they made the decision to bring back England I'm just surprised how s screwed they often are in this campaign they've been knocked out in the Novgorod series and now they're knocked out in the Teutonic one but here come the French haven't done too much in this campaign I think they might have had an earlier war against England if I'm not mistaken in the hundred years war which uh, most definitely didn't last that long but it was really the Scottish and the Irish took over the Isle and now we're gonna reclaim it back okay are we getting uh, enemy line of sight at all so what's happening here now what are the French going to do I'll just quickly have a quick sip of water okay so we only outnumber them by 2,000 which is not much We've got 5,969 up against the 4,001. Cavalry seems to be pushing through now to get their line of sight. But I actually want to see these units, the communal infantry. Like, what are they operating with? It looks like they're using some sort of doom hammer by the look of it. But it looks like it's some sort of pike shaft looking unit they do have catapults which is great but we do have line of sight on the enemy now this is the first look of the Scottish in the Teutonic and uh, campaign so they look awfully Scottish kilts and all as you can see you can tell they're Scottish by the smell of them I kid I kid I'm more Scottish than <laughs> Australian to be perfectly honest wow these guys are good Pa William Wallace Pa Freedom Right, so what are they doing? They're still undecided of what they're doing. We're going to speed things up. Um, it was that clearing there that I wanted to go for, wasn't it? Look, the French are pushing into the forest. And we're holding here. If we can hold here, that's probably not too bad. But if they start actively engaging here, I'm going to move up. It does look like... The Scots are moving up, though, to try and engage us. Uh, 
I just hope the French come and attack. It does look like the Scots are coming, gonna be coming towards me more than anything. I imagine some of my pikeling can probably actually see them. What's that? In the distance. That's no orc call. What is that? Is that Peter Jackson's terrible CGI he has once a movie? <laughs> Why are they not loading in? <laughs> Nothing to see here, boys. Just a bunch of white cardboard. <laughs> I just guess there's so many trying to render in, it does that. I have no idea. Maybe something's not in installed. Exactly, well, uh, quite right. So, they can see my left hand, my right hand flank here. So they're not sort of pushing into this. Out of, well, curiosity. Okay, so it does look like the French seem to be flanking. If you'd come down here, Frenchies, you'd work out quite well. So, what's going on? So they do have some axe units coming up. So what, what technically are the uh, level of these? Medium. Medium. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's wait for this guy to come out. Come out into the clearing, and then we'll get some pot shots with my, my mounted crossbowmen. Surely it would make mincemeat of them. So they've split their army up a bit here. Which is a really interesting position to take. I'm going to swing my crossbowmen down here as well. I don't believe I'm getting flanked through the center, as the French would more than likely have Linus to go, 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 go. Turn. If they're going to turn their backs, get them. I was, I was waiting for them to come out of the tree line, as my arrows would have been more effective. Their cavalry's now engaged up. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare for them. Unless I'm getting baited. And I'm going to get my crossbow to hold. If they're going to sit flat-footed and cop a Teutonic charge, they're going to get one. Charge! That's what we want. Now get out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. Get out. Don't stand there. So they were fresh. They were. Wow, we killed 40 of them. Let's uh, continue this up then. Fall back to the clearing. So, the French are now engaging. It is time for the knights to charge. Push through the clearing here now then. And go. Let's meet our French comrades here. And this will be our target there. Okay, crossbowmen. I want you to try and target these guys here. I'm going to allow my cavalry to flank. And then I've got my own archers. So if I can get my archers to this clearing. And we'll just sort of sit back here with my general. We've got our own swordsmen. They can go further back and around. So the French are now charging head on. If we can push through here and get... If we can fight in the clearing, our swordsmen are going to be a hell of a lot more effective. So put skirmish mode on. For the love of God. Yeah, but like fall back, you fuckers. Alright, let's get full on around them and try and neutralize this. So, they are engaging them. Head on now by the look of it. The French and the Scots are going at it. Okay, we'll, we'll engage here with those swordsmen. And we'll swing my cavalry back up and around. So my swordsmen should be able to do quite well against these Scottish axemen. They seem to be quite effective in an auto-resolve. And quite cost-effective as well. Yeah, charge! Hit them! Nice parry! And here comes the cavalry charge. Okay, so what's coming out to engage me here? Okay, get my cavalry out. Because I need you to start... Focusing on their archers. Oh, you're way over here. Holy crap, we'll run them down. <laughs> Don't just hang there. Oh, yeah, you, you guys, sorry, you guys need to be up here. Pikes as well. Sure, why not? Gen General. Yeah, we can get a flanking maneuver here. 
you're so close, you might as well, you know what I mean? Alright, crossbowmen, get further up and around here. Try and run these down as best we can. Oh, okay. Stop sitting pretty and just go. Like, you need to start engaging. Like, if you guys can get properly, like, around their lines, that is what we want. Right, fall back. They shouldn't be in proper engagement for too long. They're fine. Crossbow and archers need to push up to here, so. And pikes can just sit in front of him. There's cavalry there. Just hanging a boot. Right, let's get rid of the Scottish general here. So that's sort of... Look, we can... We can probably have a couple of cinematic shots. So we are just charging in from this left flank. Most of the... Scots are still in the center, so here comes the Teutonic Order charge. Pushing further along, you can of course see the French fighting in the forest. You gotta give it to them, they were the first to engage in this inferno abomination. <laughs> Alright, any sort of good cinematic shots here? Looks like they are routing. Come on, kill the Scots, kill the Scots. I love the attire on most of these guys, though. Okay, so how well are we doing here? Oh, we got them. Let's round them up, boys. Round them up. Okay. Fall back. Yeah, look at this. My swordsmen are just going to wreck them. Continue allow to get some of my swordsmen in. Maybe even swing my general up into this. If we can. Right, push into here. Crossbowmen come further down. Pikemen, you're just happy to chill. Crossbowmen as well. These guys need to get out. What are they actually in gate? Wow, okay, so these guys actually aren't doing too well. Fuck. Anyway, my swordsmen have come here now. We've absolutely smashed them. I knew they'd give us a bit of a fight. Oh wow, my swordsmen are about to massively charge into the general's cavalry. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, kill the horsey. Cut him to pieces! <gasps> then he got taken out by friendly fire there by the look of it. Uh, the men are broken and fleeing for their lives. Alright, let's continue to push into this. Clusterfuck. Oh, it was my medium. The enemy general's now dead. Perfect. Okay, well, we've got him on the ropes here now then. And victory. We have victory. Total losses roughly around about... Uh, I don't know. 14, 1500. About that. I'm going to allow my cavalry to run down as many of the enemy as possible. We don't want them to escape. We want to be able to push on and take Wales. Let's just hope uh, our territory in Nottingham doesn't fall, fall. But victory, we have victory. Look at the carnage in the aftermath. Most of it, French lives on this other side. As long as I lost less than the French, I'd be... Sort of more so happy. Because the thing is, right, they've got rich French lands. We've got very poor Baltic lands. Decisive victory. Great to see. We lost 236 Teutonic lives, while the French lost 1,291, yet deploying 600 more than me. The Scots deployed 4,001 and lost 3,056 upon the battlefield. Looking at the Scots army, the general did 36 six kills, the pikes did 48, spears did 48, pikes did 58. The axemen did relatively well for probably what they're worth, 74, 34, 39. Probably better than my swordsmen. Yeah, even some of them. Uh, to be fair, one got 109. Crossbowmen didn't do overly too well as the cavalry which uh, is still pretty much the bread and butter of this campaign. That's why I made a full stack of cavalry, because it's really good for us. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. The Scots have been massively depleted. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, well, luckily for me, 
that we didn't lose any of the entirety of my units. Two units of scouts were taken of the French, and the fr a French bodyguard was killed. Shit. Uh, we're going to probably take that 6% replenishment. So, yes, we've got enough movement points. Oh, thank the gods. Yeah, so they're not going to be able to take that in one turn. I'm hoping the Portuguese come out and take it. Right, let's now push into Wales itself. We're not going to be able to take it in one turn, of course. But I'm going to start the siege. Regard oh, okay, you can actually get a bit more units there. If we had some catapults, that'll make this assault ten times easier. We can get some more units where we can, but uh, yeah, let's chuck a save. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. Nothing else really much to do. Um, I'm curious to see what happens here in uh, the British Isles. We've sort of got like a a three front going on. I'm not. Oh, this is general. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, I need to change this up a bit. Melee attack is better. Yeah, defense. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Osman, you are a governor, so try and fix that up. Helga is a general as well. Let's try and get that bonus back up. Fighting uh, east, we want to get snow attrition firstly, where we can. Right, cool. Um, Kiev is probably going to be under siege, but they're not going to be able to take it. And we've still got to deal with this. Yeah, we're sort of fighting on three fronts. We've got the Mongol stuff. I'm not overly too fussed about our progress into to Ankara. It would be cool if we could take... Oh, Nance. If that if Nance gets taken, I might push down from Tor. I forgot I got that French city. Like, look at this, right? 620. Like, I bet you there's not many that are up that high. Yeah, Pinsk is not making anywhere near that. Krakow as well. Galich. Galich just fucking dies in it. It's not making as much. Like, it's just crazy how poor those those eastern territories are. I'm not complaining. Well, I am. Somewhat. There must be some degree of it. Um, okay, so... The French have come out and attacked that small army that fled. I'm going to give assistance. But I'm just sort of, like, letting you guys know that if you do start this campaign and, and download the mod and play this for yourself that you might sort of run into these difficulties because the horde factions aren't quite tweaked properly just yet but I do completely understand that this mod is in very early stages of development and still has some ways to go okay so not good the Portuguese actually fled so we've actually been attacked here at Sinope by the Emirate of Yemen. Nothing really too much we can do. Auto resolve. Sinop will uh, fall by the look of it. I was hoping the Scots would be taken out by the Portuguese. Because Nottingham is more valuable than Wales, I believe. We should be able to push and take Sinop, though. But holding those three territories is going to be tough. Honestly, if I just had Constantinople, oh, that'd be bloody perfect. Okay, well, so during the end turn phase, we've been attacked by the Mongols, which uh, kind of sucks. But we're going to have to retreat. There's no way this order resolves. Look, look at that cavalry, man. Nordox, Hunnic Devil Cavalry, Hunnic Devil Archers. Like, no, my guys just can't compete with that. Let's retreat and hope they don't run us down properly. What are they going to do? So we have been attacked here at Galich. Oh, okay. This is... My reinforcements are in range. Really? They're not favoured to win a full stack against them? you got to be joking. Um... Hmm. Ah, just like, you destroy them and then like six full stacks spawn? I don't want to lose this army though, that's the thing. I want to save this army, but I don't want to fight this. What I'm better off to do is I think I'm I'm better off to go on the battlefield and withdraw this. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll chuck a quick save and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay guys, welcome to the battlefield. Let's cross our fingers and hope this works. I'm just sick of fighting the Mongols. I don't want to play them anymore. Um, 
And if I can't auto resolve, eh, it kind of sucks, right? I think uh, we'll see if this works. I'm hoping this doesn't wipe out the army, but it could very well do. So let's start this right. And essentially, withdraw. Now, where is withdraw? Come on. There must be the withdraw button. Why can't I retreat? Hmm. Maybe I have to play this one as there's no more movements. Okay guys, welcome back. The loading times in this are just fucking horrific. So, there was no auto resolve but uh, sorry, there was no withdraw button in game. So what I quickly just had to do is just concede and actually survived this other full stack. Uh, hasn't been defeated. Uh, Galich has been lost, but that's fine as long as they don't destroy. I'm not overly too uh, I'm not really too fast. I need to sort of um, unite sort of my armies together to push. I don't think I probably could have won that. So we have been attacked here now. Then again with the fucking Mongols, man. Um, we've got the garrison to help us out. Uh, I think I'm better off. Oh, I can't retreat. Oh, okay. Right, right. Oh, it's okay then. Let's just auto resolve this one here now then. I just need to, I need to seriously upgrade my swords, but I think I will. Once we get rid of these roaming horse lords. But if we get two more stacks, pff, easy peasy. Okay, well, uh, let's just auto resolve this one straight up. Close victory, supposedly. We're going to take the 34% replenishment. Anyone else going to parlay? Not by the look of it. We should be able to get rid of these guys. We need to watch out for that third army here. Okay, Krakow has now been attacked by that rebel army who has attacked me for the nine billionth time. And more so happens in Salacia than <laughs> anything. My governor's quite a prominent commander there. Rebellion, that's fine. Stuff getting sacked. 158, crikey, okay. Regardless, we're going to be able to take Wales here now then and claim my second settlement within Britannia. We'll try to hold it as best we can. Let's go with a night attack and... Uh, Let's take the Scottish settlement in Wales. I'm going to try and hold Nottingham and, of course, Wales as best I can. We can liberate the Welsh if we want to, or we can uh, loot and occupy. Um, I'm tempted to loot and occupy because I don't know what the buildings are in here. Even if they are Christian, they might have a lot of negative effects for me. So, obviously the lead smelt is in there, I'm going to keep that, and it was only a military wharf, which we will repair, and we might even break this down, because I am just hemorrhaging food at the moment, 229, so that means we're not going to get replenishments in certain territories. But on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here, thank you very, nope, I'm going to get rid of this army in Sinope. Let's uh, push down and get rid of them out of Sinope, the... Uh, Emirates of Yemen. Whoa, God, I don't know why this is stuttering now. Maybe I'm running out of memory somewhere. Regardless, we'll throw these guys back. So yeah, we've got to end the video and the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We're going to continue to hold our newfound territory in Anatolia. Man, look at that blood splatter on the snow. <laughs> Crazy. We're going to try and hold our territory in the British Isles as well. And we're going to deal with our sort of foreign invaders in the east here. Let's just sort of hope that we can sort of stop the Mongols. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notes notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments
If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been simsy goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there